You still there, Billy? How could you leave me here? Well, we still have some ground to cover, and I needed to look up some more sites. Fine. You asked me how we could tell if extreme ironing was a real sport, and not some spoof like liquid mountaineering. That all comes down to research. You need to look critically at a wide array of sources. Let's do a search on extreme sports. Well, there's a Wikipedia page. Wikipedia is a great resource, but there are a lot of problems. Who's the authority behind this page? If you create an account with Wikipedia, you can look at the history behind it. Not only are there a lot of contributors, some are anonymous. Anyone can make a contribution. There's even discussion of dubious unsourced content and vandalism to the post. Geez, I had no idea there was so much behind a simple Wikipedia article. Does this mean I can't use Wikipedia? Not as a source. But Wikipedia does a good job of crowdsourcing, so it's a great place to find general information and even learn more about the scope of your topic and specific terminology. Sometimes, it's even a good place to find references. This entry lists some books and articles you might want to look for. So use Wikipedia to jumpstart my research, but don't stop there. Exactly. Now let's look at some of the other search results. Most of these are other pages from blogs and video sites catering to fans. There's not much content there that's objective. Generally, you want to look for sites whose purpose is to provide objective information. What about that CBC Archives site? Great eye, Billy. The CBC is an established Canadian news outlet, and they've gathered together television and radio clips from 1965 to 2004. While it's not the most current material, the CBC is definitely a recognized objective authority, and the purpose of this website is to present a history of extreme sports through news media. Wow, this is awesome! I could have written my entire paper with this site. This is great source material, Billy, but let's also think about writing style. Is there anything scholarly about this? You can use these clips as evidence in your paper, but you still need to gather scholarly opinion if you truly want to conduct research. But nothing in our search results has been scholarly. Where am I supposed to look? Looks like you'll be here for one more video on using the internet to find scholarly material. Yeah, I get it. To be continued. For more information on critical thinking or research skills, visit the Learning Commons Study Toolkits or attend one of our online workshops.